Well, hey there, it's Mervyn. You know, ever since I made that window cleaner recipe a while back, I've established quite a cult following with young people, as you can imagine. And they're always pestering me, Merv, why didn't you put together a recipe we can eat? So we have something nice waiting for us at the end of the day while we're away at uh, you know, that fancy place. What do they call that place, DeMille? College. Yeah, college. While they're away at college. So today I'm gonna show you how to use five ingredients in five minutes and a crock pot for just a few hours to make delicious home-style chicken gravy and dumplings just like Grandma used to make. I'm wearing six pair of gloves, 14 pair of safety goggles, and some flesh-colored Kevlar for legal purposes. The meal's behind the camera. Let's get started. All righty. Well, I guess the first thing we got to do is tell you what the ingredients are. So right here, we got some beautiful, great value chicken breast. I don't endorse any particular product, but I just love great value chicken. It's uh, the value uh, that you get from this chicken uh, is great. It is really great. Salt and pepper, great value salt and pepper. All right, and then over here, what you got is some mixed vegetables, frozen mixed vegetables, great value brand from Walmart. I also have, uh, uh, just happen to have uh, some uh, jumbo buttermilk biscuits. Yeah. Two cans of them. You might only want one. These are for the secret dumpling part of the potion. This is kind of an optional thing here. It's a, it's a spray oil that I, I like to put in, in the bottom of my uh, device uh, to keep it uh, from sticking. Uh, it's kind of optional. So technically you could do this with like less than five ingredients if you really wanted to. And then I got uh, soup cans like this. And this is cream of mushroom. It's a big can. And then I got a couple smaller cans of the cream of chicken. Great value, of course. Might not end up using all that. I'm just gonna wing it when I put these ingredients in. I'm gonna figure out how much I need. Let's show you how to do that right now. So here we go, five minutes, start your timer. You're gonna take uh, your spray oil and just grease up the bottom a little bit. It's gonna save you clean up. Gonna save you some cleanup later. Now, we're gonna put the chicken in. I kinda of feel like I should take off the gloves. And... Take off the gloves. <laughs> Love that legal department. <laughs> All right. So in goes the chicken. I'm using breasts. A lot of people uh, might like to use thighs. Uh, uh, these were on sale. These were on sale at the uh, supermarket, uh, Walmart Supercenter. If you wanna get fancy, you can uh, you can dice them up, you know, slice them a little, a little bit ahead of time. Personally, I like to uh, serve a breast uh, with biscuits and gravy sauce and vegetables and let the people cut it up themselves. Anyway, that's how I do it. We're gonna hit that with a little salt. <clears throat> Wanna get fancy, you could use garlic salt if you happen to have some laying around. And we're gonna hit it with just a little bit of pepper there. There you go. Now, next what I like to do is is put in the necessary amount of soup. We're using cream of mushroom. We also got uh, cream of chicken. Uh, you could use cream of celery. Uh, you know, you could use, if you got it, uh, cream of possum or cream of muskrat, for example. Whatever kind of cream of soup you prefer, that's what's gonna make your gravy. So uh, let's gonna start with uh, cream of chicken soup. Doop, doop, look at that. And, uh, and I, got a, I got a big can, uh, uh, 26 ounces of the cream of mushroom. Doesn't have a self-opening lid, which is a bit of a drawback, I know. But uh, let me just open this up right quick. Here, hang on to the end of this thing. Yeah, hold it back here. Hold it. Just hold it all the way. 
And in goes the cream of mushroom. Can of water. About three quarters of a can of water. You don't want to make it too watery. And then you got your uh, frozen vegetables, which uh, I always like to open up with a uh, heavy gauge steel cutter. You could do it however you want. I guess some people would just tear them open. I, I don't get it. And in goes uh, first bag of veggies. It's starting to look prettier now, right? Yeah, it's always a second bag of veggies. This is the stuff that it's color. It's color when it comes to cooking folks that what makes stuff pretty. Now, don't worry if she's a little uh, too, uh, if she seems too watery, because much of this water is going to cook off. All right? All right. Always tap the spoon five or six times, okay? There. And then finally, you got your biscuits. What this is, think about this, folks. This is dough in a can keeps you from having to make the dough yourself. Open the can. And uh, here's what you could do. You want to be fancy, uh, that's fine. You can be as fancy as you want if you want to cut them up. Uh, I tear them up into irregular kind of chunks. And of course, if you are wearing automotive gloves, folks, just to keep the dough from sticking to your hands, you can, you can put a little <coughs> a little uh, great value spray oil on your automotive gloves. And uh, there they go. I, I tear each, uh, each biscuit into four pieces. Now, look folks, if you like dumplings, <laughs> I got news for you. Dumplings ain't nothing that hard to make. They're basically made out of dough, which is made out of flour and it's made out of water. So we can go the dumpling things. And uh, there you go. Poke them down in because they like to float. Uh, it's during moments like this that uh, pretty music usually drifts in to make the uh, cooking video uh, somehow more uh, relaxing, if you know what I'm saying, DeMille. Uh, I don't know what you could do about that, but... Uh, mm -hmm. I reckon. I like lots of dumplings. Uh, you could use just one can if you want. To me, it's all about the dumplings. You know, that's my uh, nickname for Helen. I call her my big dumpling. You don't like it too much. Some of you might not have the kind of uh, filming environment or cooking environment that we have here at the Merv Soundstage, but uh, it shouldn't stop you from preparing a hearty meal. Now, we got a liquid level that is very close to the top. Maybe I overdone it. Maybe I put too much chicken in. And maybe I put too much water in. Again, that water is gonna evaporate. And that's what I'm counting on. Now, real quick tip here. What I've noticed about crock pots is some will say low, medium, high. Uh, in my case, uh, you see it says four hours, six hours, eight hours, 10 hours. But you'll notice the, the more the hours increase, the temperature is actually decreasing from high to low. It only makes sense because if something's going to cook for 10 hours, you're going to have it cooking at a much lower heat. And if something's only cooking for four hours, that's going to require a higher heat. In my case, I'm going to cook these for a good six hours on the 
on the six hour setting, make sure that chicken reaches uh, 165 degrees Fahrenheit and uh, that our dumplings are good and solid. So you put your lid on and the easy part's over because now we're gonna have to wait several hours and, uh, but it's worth it. And uh, it's gonna have to cook and cook in all that goodness. So uh, it's probably gonna be one of the uh, longest videos we ever made. <laughs> Demir, you, uh, you sure you got enough uh, film, enough uh, videotape for this to get, uh, you know, the whole uh, cooking process? Hmm? What's that now? How's that? You got to be kidding me. Folks, you're not going to believe this. DeMille has whipped up some kind of special effect so you don't have to wait for the whole cooking process to complete. By the way, Merv serve tip number 17. If you're worried you filled your crock pot too full like I done, you might want to put a drip tray underneath it or even some paper towels laid out to catch any extra spillage that might boil over while you're out of the house. All right, folks, let's have a look here. Now, you're going to notice that uh, the dumplings are dense. They've got some form to them. They're a little rubbery, but I like my dumplings that way. Uh, I did come back, I'll let you know, throughout the cooking process. I, I poked the dumplings down into the simmering broth on several occasions to make sure they were getting cooked right. And uh, there's a chicken breast. I'll fish that out for you. I'm gonna grab a fork and we'll do a temperature reading. I'm just going to pull up a breast here and uh, insert thermometer. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, that is that is more than good. And by the way, I'm going to have DeMille put a link in the uh, description so you can get yourself a good uh, digital thermometer and a nice crock pot if you don't have one. Mm. That is delicious home cooking in an easy way. You know, sometimes life gets complicated. We got things going on in our lives and we need an easy fix for dinner. And uh, this is just one way to help you keep things in perspective and keep life simple. Please remember to share, like, subscribe, leave your comments in the section below. And as always, click that notification icon, that little bell thingy, so you'll be notified when new secrets come your way. Because as you can imagine, they're trying to suppress information like this all over the internet. This is Merv saying keep it simple, and I'll see you next time. Merv Service Secrets is filmed live before an imaginary audience on the Merv International Soundstage. Be sure to check out our other videos. 